Today we'll be discussing composting. Hi, this is Sean Quinn with Remax Premier. Today we'll be discussing composting, but before we do, I'd like to draw your attention to two links. One, if you're looking to buy a home, click on the home search link. And if you're looking to sell a home, click on the free home market evaluation link. My wife and I got the idea of composting from a client of mine. We love the idea of recycling while making the garden richer and living a more eco-friendly life. My client used his compost to make his lawn greener and we wanted to replace our chemical lawn service and yet make our vegetables grow bigger and better. We add things like coffee grinds and kitchen scraps, but of course no protein. First we put the kitchen scraps into a jar that sits by the kitchen sink. And no, it doesn't smell because underneath the lid of the jar is a carbon fiber barrier that eliminates odor. Once the jar is filled, we take those scraps and we bring it to the compost bin by the vegetable garden. There are two sides to the compost bin, the newly added scraps and the older scraps. And we also mix in uh, cut grass and greens from the garden, of course, no weeds. Once the compost is ready, we take it and we use it as a natural fertilizer for our vegetable garden. And other than making the soil richer, it is also supposed to help the soil retain water uh, ward off plant diseases, and deter weeds from growing. We recently spread the compost in our vegetable garden, so I'll be happy to share the results at the end of the season. If you have any great tips about composting or any recommendations, please let me know. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks and have a great day.